Today, we're trying to win a race on every single F1 game. And the whole time, we'll be using this awesome looking Quadrant Scuff controller. And you guys can pick one up for yourselves in their Black Friday sales. Use the code CYBER20 from Friday through to Monday to get yourselves one of these. Let's do this. Oh God, here we go. <laughs> the graphics are <laughs> interesting to say the least. Why is the sponsor on the car blurrier than everything else? Like the opponents are actually in quite good detail. Right, turn one, cops. Very slidey handling, you'll notice. It's almost like drifting is the way to go. There's also curves on this, but I don't know what the button is. Oh my God, been actually sent by the Williams. Right, so far... We are still middle of the road. We need to pick up the pace a little bit. This is the old section. We go under the bridge, then the left, and then we're going to tuck into the field all of a sudden. Right, we've got four or five cars ahead of us. Let's get them. This is it. Lap two is where it all kicks off. Nice. Two, three. Oh, the Toyota. We're around the outside. P7. Come on. Come on. We're getting there. This is going to take probably the last lap. It's going to be quite close, you know. Weber, Vettel, surprised they're not taking each other out at this point. Down the inside of both of them, on the grass. Oh no, Vettel's got me back. We're in P3, we're on the podium. There's only two sectors left. I don't know if we're going to catch P1, you know. To the line, this is going to be... Oh! Third place. It's only going to get harder from here, because as the games go on, everything was a bit more realistic. So it's actually only get harder from here. Now, the challenge is to win every race on every F1 game we're playing. So I've chosen another backmarker team, really small team, but hardly anyone knew them. They're called Braun GP. And just like that, we get to the finish line and we're gonna win the British Grand Prix on F1 2009. And we did it with the worst team on the grid. What can I say? What can I a winning combination. Oh, it's good to be back on this game. This was, this was one of the goats. But we're driving as Glock. Let's hope I don't go too slowly. What is this camera view? Right, five, red light. I've already overheated the engine before the lights gone out. Good. No furs to think about in this car. Just me and the gears, which I forgot to do at the start. Right, I can't actually remember how erratic. Oh, okay, that's how erratic the AI are. Degrassi, mate, caused a collision. Degrassi, brake check me. Right, down inside a center. Not that center, but a center of sorts. Lovely apex. Why is this Ferrari out of position? Felipe Massa, what is going on? P12? You should be up in at least the point, son. Oh, lovely, lovely. Oh, hold it. See this car, this game. No more, no more drifting. There's some actual, you know, skill involved as the AI actually give me a bit of a run for the money, you know? They are a bit aggressive. Oh, oh God, it's the classic Schumacher. Very harsh with it, so it's fine. We got past him. Rosberg's next. They can't believe it. They can't believe this Virgin car is flying through them. Get out of the way, Rosberg. Get out of the way. We've got a race to win. Right, I've got five positions left down the inside of Village. Can we do it? Oh, we might go for the McLaren as well. Oh, we've got Hamilton. What a dive bomb. Sensational stuff. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Oh, no. And just like that, it's going to be the P1 on F1 2010. Right, we're at a very rainy Silverstone right now on F1 2011. Um, and the reason why I've chosen to do this race in the wet is because I think you need to see the level of wet weather that this game has. Because I actually genuinely think it might rival the current F1 games. Look at that spray. I can't see anything into turn one. We've got no curves on this car either. So that's going to be great. But we'll try our best to navigate things. At this point, Narain's probably having a nosebleed. He's, the, the HRT never got this high. You'll notice it's a different turn one now. This is, oh God, as I go wide at it. Oh my, oh God. Okay, we may have reached the limit of this car in terms of talent. We go for it. Oh, <laughs> Little bit of argy-bargy. Alonso keeps it on the track, though. And with that, F1 2011 is done. Now, in theory, I should be pretty good at this game, or at least very decent at it, because it was the first game I started really making videos on. I did league racing on it. I even started my own league. Now, so far, we've had to upgrade the car every time on these games, but I'm hoping we can do this in one go. Easy. Do not want to do anything too rash there? Dip a tire on the grass. It's fine on this game. It didn't really bother you too much, clearly. As we get the move on Village, 
And then, can I... Oh, ho, ho. send one on the inside. Got neutral there for a second, but it's worked out for us. I'm trying so hard right now. We're, we're gaining on Grosjean and JB, but it's going to be bloody tight. I think we could just about get him on the last corner. We're in the slipstream with Grosjean. Going to use a bit of ERS. No DRS activated. That's going to be... Well, would be on the next lap if we were continuing. I need Grosjean to attack JB. And then I can attack both of them, maybe. We get a bit wide. Oh, no. Oh, it's fucked me up. Oh, Grosjean, you're useless, mate. Come on. Come on. No, Jensen. Go. Yes. We're going to count that. Screw you, JB. Sorry, JB. But... Oh, God. P1. P you didn't see anything else. That was P1. P next game. Next game. Next game. Right. F1. 2013. Come on. It occurs. Gonna squeeze out Raikkonen in here. Lovely. Oh, you know what? I actually remember. I actually quite enjoyed this game because the racing was quite intense. Oh, three wide. Oh, <laughs> lovely move. Oh, rich mix. I haven't actually changed my fuel this entire time. Maybe that would have helped the whole time. At this point, I'm actually not sure if the Saab is being driven by steering or by Nico Hülkenberg. It could honestly be a joystick. It could be by just pressing some deep directional buttons. I'm not sure because I can't see the wheel. Oh, dancing the car through village and we get up into P2. Alonso's left and we've got a lap and a half to go. Oh, where are we going to go? Right or left? We're going to go down the inside at village as we set the fast lap of the Grand Prix as well with Hülkenberg. Alonso's trying to switch back me, but I'm having none of it. We're going to park it on the apex. And just like that, F1 2013 is completed. That, that was all the game had. <laughs> oh, goodness me. So many of you are so lucky that you never had to watch Formula One when we had that. This game had nothing going for it. It was a bit of a stopgap game. Everyone wanted the, the current F1 games uh, at the time to go to the next gen, which was uh, the PlayStation 4. Cody's gave us this game on the current gen at the time, and it was basically F1 2013. My ears are actually hurting. This engine sounds so bad. Right, Danny, Rick, you need to get out of the way, mate. I need to be able to have a clean run on Rosberg because I simply can't handle another three lap race in this game. It, it just can't happen. I'm going off. Oh no, it cut the engine. I actually know I'm not even going to get first place in this race. So I'm actually going to just quit whilst I'm ahead and upgrade the car because I simply can't put up with this game. Right, Rosberg, you're done. Right, we're over. No career mode in this game and no engine power with the McLaren Honda here. We're driving as my man, JB, but it wasn't exactly a amazing year for the McLaren team. And as you can see, the handling is, well, a little bit interesting. Right, three, ah, oh, ah. Oh. This is appalling. This is, look at the steering wheel move. Oh, ah. Oh. oh, thank you. The wall hit me back on circuit brilliantly. What's going on? Oh. Oh my, ah. Oh. Who is that? Maldonado, oh, of course, of course. In typical F1 2015 fashion, this game is so broken still seven years on um that the uh steering is is an issue the ironic thing is this is actually actually quite a challenge i'm still not past p1 into lufthill like a here we go surely now surely come on no come on don't do this to me game don't do this to me slipstream pull out to the inside of cops okay there we go <laughs> what a god awful game i can't believe it's that broken still seven years on basically just ah oh, i think and the win on f1 2016 oh my god these cars looked very odd right around the outside of raikkonen gonna close up on bottas in this very interesting first edition of these pink racing point force india cars with bwt entering the sport round the outside of Hamilton. Oh, 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 Seb. Oh, Seb's giving us a bit of a fight. But there we go. One thing I loved about this year was this Renault. Very, very pretty looking Renault. And a really good pairing of Carlos Sainz and... Oh, oh God. Kind of improvements in the AIs. You can clearly see a bit more... Uh, well, very punchy. 
All right, try and see if we go around the outside of the Force India. Perez. Oh, my God. Literally. Didn't even see I was there. <laughs> right. Here we go. Gaining. Gaining a little bit. Do I dare go for the dive? <laughs> We've gone for it. And Bottas has to step out of the way. After F1 2018, we flew through F1 2019, 2020 and 2021 with ease, mostly, before we arrived at the present day with F1 22. And now, finally, we're on F1 22, the current Formula 1 game. Quite a stark contrast from the very first game we started with, F1 2009. Here we go then, five red lights. We've been through all the F1 games by Codemasters. From the Wii to the PS5, and we're here. F122, graphically, just a little bit different than the, the first game I played. Bit of traffic going on. K-Mag slowing us down at the apex, but a bit of ERS usage might get us ahead. <laughs> that is a close one. You can really tell the racing is so much better. I'm going to oh, narrowly miss taking out that Red Bull, you know. Nail that corner, down the inside, going to get the elbows out. There's a lot of this argy-bargy in the real-life British Grand Prix. Gaining, gaining into Stowe on the inside. We get up into first place. And that has been every single F1 game for F1 2009 to F1 22 with a victory at the British Grand Prix.